This week, the WLTX Deep Dive team revealed the details of a South Carolina Department of Revenue preliminary audit report, which showed the county spent 41 million penny tax dollars on ineligible purchases. The misspent millions went to office supplies, a mentee mentor program, and legal fees. Today, News 19's Jacob Reynolds was there as C County Administrator Leonardo Brown responded publicly for the first time since our initial report, reading a short statement and offering some new details on when the county claims it will share new information. Richland County Administrator Leonardo Brown speaking publicly about the Department of Revenue Good audit morning. report, which outlines the county spent more than $41 million on ineligible purchases, including operating and legal expenses, a small business program, property, public relations, office supplies, among others. Richland County is continuing to review and present information to the South Carolina Department of Revenue in an effort to resolve questions that have been raised concerning the penny program. As the reported findings are preliminary in nature, we have no conclusory statements to make at this time. We are committed to establishing, fostering, and maintaining our identity as an open government. And we will make every effort to be transparent throughout this process. It is important to note that this audit is a part of an ongoing pending litigation matter between Richland County and the South Carolina Department of Revenue. Therefore, it would not be appropriate at this time to give any further comments. Do you have any comment about the county potentially owing $40 million, as Representative Finley has claimed? No, I don't. As a matter of fact, one of the things we were instructed very clearly tonight to do was to allow the attorneys to address this issue and not offer any comments on it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sure, ma'am. Any comment on uh, what Mr. Finley has told us about the DOR audit no, report? No, you've got to ask Mr. Finley about that. The only thing I can tell you is that we have a preliminary report, and I think it's important for us to wait until we, um, our attorney and, and our staff uh, look at the preliminary report and give us the feedback. Council no comment Friday or last month when WLTX first reported the allegations of millions of misspent penny tax dollars. No comment. Councilwoman. Do you have any response to reports about the DOR preliminary audit that questions $40 million in the county's penny tax spending? No, I don't have a response. It's in litigation. I have no response. Since summer, WLTX has been trying to gain access to any budgets or audits that detail the actual spending and projects using penny tax money. We now know the preliminary DOR findings say $21 million of the penny tax was spent on ineligible purchases made to the program development team, the group hired to manage the penny tax the last five years. In September, in response to our open records request, the county cited a $276,189.73 fee to allow us access to those spending records. After a back and forth in late September, the county agreed to release the documents free to the public. It would be more than 1.5 million pages of financial information. So far, none of those financial records have been released. This week, County PIO Beverly Harris said in part, as previously stated, the county will notify the public when the documents are ready. The email says the process is taking time and will eventually be available for free. No date is given. In Columbia, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. Jacob, thank you. In his statement, Administrator Brown said Richland County Chairman Paul Livingston would release another statement at a later date.